Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to open or extract an image file within VirtualBox on Mac. Now, if you have questions about installing VirtualBox or running Windows on Mac, we have videos covering some of those topics and we'll leave those down in the description box below. Now, if you're interested in Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have the links down in the description box below. All right, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. All right, so we're on the Mac, and the first step is to launch our virtual machine. So I'll go to my applications all the way down to VirtualBox, and we'll go ahead and launch. And then I'm going to start my virtual machine. All right, so here we are on Windows 11 inside of our virtual machine. And when you're running a virtual machine, if you simply try to double click an image file, let me show you guys what happens. So we get a message that says, sorry, there was a problem mounting this file. All right, so that's not what we wanna see, so we'll click OK. And there's very simple and free software that we're gonna to use to extract these files. So we'll go to our internet browser, and we're gonna type in 7-zip. This is a free extraction software, and we'll press on go to download. And then from here, just click on the download for whichever system you have, whether it's a 64 or 32-bit system. I've got 64-bit, so we're gonna press download, the very top link right here. All right, and then once you've done that, we're gonna open file, press yes, and we'll press install. 7-zip is installed and we'll press close. And now with the image file, we're gonna right click on it and we'll press show more options. If you're on Windows 10 or earlier, you won't have to press show more options. It'll just be right here. And we're gonna hover over 7-zip and we're gonna press on extract files. I'll leave it as the desktop, we'll press OK. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a folder containing all of the extracted files in whatever location you specified. So we can double click in this. And now we have all the contents right here in front of us that were within that image file. All right, that was a quick one for you guys. If you enjoyed or you found it useful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop those down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Software, we'll have those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.